Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day I'm going to show you guys what I look for when I walk into the store. Um, I usually go to the store, I don't know, two to three times a week. But due to the pandemic, I've been going, I don't know, weekly. So uh, I guess it depends, right? So it's usually every Friday so I'll go in there and shop for a week. And I'll spend roughly... 100 150 bucks depending on how empty my fridge is or my pantry um and also if i'm running out of let's say meat uh definitely meat i'll actually have to run to the store otherwise it's usually weekly and today's the day that i'll do that my diet usually consists of just lean meat so lean chicken fish uh frozen veggies and carbs but for carbs i don't usually do anything else besides flatbread or otherwise uh, brown rice a little around uh, white rice but not both it depends on how I feel for that day uh, it's like a cup or otherwise half a cup of anything cooked rice otherwise no oats no grains nothing like that so there's four things that come to mind when I'm walking to the store uh, it's your protein so your meats your veggies dairy and also your carbs uh, let me break down a little bit of each of the sections. So for meats, I only do chicken tenderloins since it's more juicier. If that's out of stock, I'll actually buy some chicken breast. I'll buy at least a pack of the ground turkey or the ground chicken. It has to be 93.7. Oh yeah, and certain days, if I'm feeling like I can up my calories, I'll actually buy a good lean cut of uh, beef. So that's for meats. Oh, and sometimes fish too as well. And then for carbs, I'll actually look for flatbread. I know the time, last time I came here, there was protein wraps. But for protein wraps, it's super high in calorie. It's like 150 or 190s per wrap. But the wrap's like super huge. Um, and there's like, I think 12 to 15 grams of protein uh, per wrap. So... I'll have that on a Saturday or something like that, but I don't have that every day. I'll usually have a flatbread, which is roughly 90 calories with like 13 or 12 or 13 grams of carbs uh, for that. And then obviously, and then as far as rice goes, I'll actually buy brown rice here. And I'll do like maybe two to five pounds, depending on what, what size the bag they carry at Aldi's or otherwise us Asians we go to the Asian store and we buy 50 to 100 pounds uh, of white rice over there um, I think 50 pounds is going for roughly $44 depending on the area that you guys live in but over here uh, and also the brand too it's it's I don't know like I'd say 40 to 45 for a 50 pounder and then for a hundred pound bag of white rice I'd say it's like what 50 to 65 I don't know depending on the area of course and also the brand so check that out guys uh, let's move down to dairy so for dairy uh, I'll do Greek yogurt and I'll do almond milk and that's about it and it's sometimes cheese but I'm lactose intolerant so I don't really buy cheese as much so what am I missing right guys and then finally for veggies I'll do frozen broccoli uh, frozen carrots. I actually would buy the mixed bag, uh, depending on how if you, I like. I said I you like variety, so the certain days where you know I can't always be eating broccoli all day, all night, right, guys? So in the freezer, I'll usually have a mixed bag of you know carrots, cauliflower, peas, snap peas, things like that, just to you know keep it different, I guess. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna head in there, and uh, it is the pandemic, guys, so. I don't know how my voice is going to sound with this on top of my, my mouth, but uh, if it sounds pretty bad during the edit, I will do a voiceover. Guys, there's the protein wraps. Twelve grams of protein, seven grams of carbs. Never mind, the calories are actually pretty low. It's actually 120 calories. What, 17 grams of carbs? So I'll probably grab one of these. It's actually like 299. So these are the wraps that I like, which is 90 calories. Let's 
see. 16 grams of carbs and 9 grams of protein. So not bad. Right, we'll grab some strawberries. So we'll also grab some of these dessert. These rice cakes. I think that I think so. I think that was it. 40 calories with uh, 8 grams of carbs. Here's the protein pancakes. Uh, it's too high in calories. 220 per half cup. Hey guys, finally got home, unloaded. Uh, in the top corner there, that's how much I spent. Uh, but that's on a lot of optional stuff that I didn't need to buy since I went in there hungry, so I bought a bunch of stuff. But anyways, here are the stuff I bought. Let's go here. So I got some mangoes, I got some avocados, flounder, I got some pink salmon, blueberries, huge bag of uh, tomatoes, because I put tomatoes in everything pretty much. Three bags of salad, these are a dollar each. Uh, spinach, I grabbed uh, two eggs since they were only limiting to two since the pandemic. Um, and I got, so they were limiting meat. So I was only able to grab, usually I'll grab five of the chicken tenderloins. So these are $5.65 each bag. Um, so I went with the chicken breast as well. So these were the same price, $5.65. Um, and then below this, I bought a case of strawberries, $1.19 each, so I couldn't pass that up. And of course, the protein wraps. Like I said, guys, I bought a bunch of stuff, but if you guys are on a budget and want to spend at least 50 bucks, uh, you know, for your proteins, carbs, and your fats when you're cutting, you can do that. Let me know if you guys want to have me do another video on a budget cut diet, so I can do that for you guys. All right, guys, another thing that I like to eat is the shirataki yam noodles. Um, this is actually my substitute for noodles since I love noodles. Um, it's only 10 calories per serving and there's per three ounce, I guess. Yeah, look at the carb, guys, two grams. And it tastes just like noodles. So this is like my go-to thing. And I usually would stock 10 at a time when I go to the Asian store. Um, and the secret ingredient that I was telling you guys about in the car earlier is this the creo so i'll put like i'll sprinkle a little bit of this on top of my chicken and my fish a little bit of uh garlic powder and some paprika and you're good to go so this stuff is amazing guys so all right guys that's it folks uh if you guys are new go ahead and subscribe thanks everybody for watching and please subscribe